Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to use the camera shake in two different ways. In the first example, we're going to be transforming this boring shot into a kind of POV running shot. For example, for your horror games, if you want to do a chase scene. And in the second example, we're going to be adding a shake for when a meteor hits Earth. I think it could be cool for explosions or things like that in your game. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we have our map. I already have some cinematics set up. I'm going to be starting with this, with the run type of shake. I'm going to show you the cinematic without the shake. As you can see, it's just simple. It's just the camera running down the street. And we're going to be transforming it into a POV running with just camera shake. So let's go back here to Content Browser. And here in the same cinematics folder, I'm going to right click, choose Blueprint class, click here on Camera Shake Base, and click Select. I'm going to name this Run Shake. Press Enter. And now we're going to double click and it will open the settings for the camera shake. Here where it says root shake pattern, let's click here. We're going to choose Perlin noise camera shake pattern. And as you can see here are the properties of the shake. So here we have how much shake we want on the location coordinates of the camera. And the same here, like how much shake we want in the rotation of the camera. And here on timing is for how long we want the shake to last. So here on location, amplitude means how big, how strong you want the shake movements to be. So the higher this name is, the stronger is going to be the, the shake. And here on frequency is how fast you want the shake to be. So amplitude is how long the movements are, how big the movements are. Frequency is how fast those movements happen. The same here on rotation, amplitude and frequency. So here on amplitude, I'm going to change this to two and the same on location. Let's go to two. And here on duration, I'm going to change this to zero. If you have duration set to zero, the camera shake will last for as long as you want instead of just lasting the duration you put here. So let's click compile. Let's save as well. And let's dock this up here. Let's go here to shake tutorial. Um, let's go back to cinematic and now we'll add the camera shake which is created. So here on Cine camera actor, let's press click on track, camera shake and you see here the camera shake we just created. Let's press click and you see it creates a track. You can drag this track to make it longer, shorter. Wherever you have this track, the camera shake will show. So I'm going to go back to the whole sequence and let's press play to see how it looks. And yeah, as you can see, it kind of added like a shake. I think it's going a little bit like soft, like smooth. It doesn't look like someone is running. It looks like someone is kind of drunk and that's not the that's not the effect that I want. So let's go back to run shake. I want my shake to be faster and maybe a little bit bigger. So I'm going to be changing the rotation frequency maybe to three and I'll do the same here on location to three. Let's click compile, save. Let's go back and let's see how it looks now. I'm going to put this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Yeah, it looks it looks better. Now, if you see here, you can also modify things by just coordinates. So for example, in location, you can set amplitude and frequency of the exact axis that you want. And the same here on rotation. In rotation, you have pitch, yaw and roll. Pitch is the movement that your camera does, like going up and down. Yaw is like saying no with your head. It's just like going left, right. And roll is like rolling, like circling. <laughs> yeah, I hope you kind of get the idea. And you can modify those things too. So for example, I want the amplitude here because when a person is running, it can kind of like look down and up more than left and right. So I'm going to 
put the amplitude here to 4 and the frequency on 1. Let's click compile and let's see how it looks. And yeah, I think it looks better. It looks like someone is running. So for example, here, if you take this and put it shorter, you'll see that it starts with a shake and then it goes without the shake. Whatever you don't have this, it will just turn to the shot without the shake. But what if I want the shake for an explosion or for the meteor that's hitting Earth? Now let's go to a second example of how you can use the camera shake. I'm going to go to the content browser and now I'll show you this one. This cinematic uh, is very simple. I'm going to show it to you. It's just this. We look up, a meteor hits Earth, but nothing happens, right? I mean, a meteor hits Earth and nothing happens. Here, when the meteor hits Earth, I want to put a camera shake, a short shake, like an explosion. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And it's the same as we did before. I'm going to go back to the content browser. I'm going to put right click, blueprint class, camera shake base, select. And now I'm going to name this boom shake, enter. I'm going to double click on boom shake. And we're going to be doing the same. Perlin noise camera shake pattern. Uh, let's click here on location and rotation. Since this is a meteor hitting Earth, I want this to be way bigger and faster, right? So I'm going to go here to five, maybe. Here also five, just like big shake movements. And the same on the frequency multiplier. So five and five on rotation as well. And here on timing, we want to set the duration that we want for the shake. So since it's an explosion, I will maybe think two seconds will be okay. Here you can set the blend in time and the blend out time. So for the blend in time, I want it to be immediate since it's a hit. So 0 0.2, I think it's okay. And for the blend out time, I want it to blend out with time. Like you feel the hit, like the meteor hits Earth, but then the shake kind of fades away. So I want the fade to be 1.5 seconds. So it hits Earth and then the shake slowly fades away. So I'm going to click here on compile, save. And we'll go back to the shake tutorial. We'll go back here to sequencer. And I want to be adding the shake here, right? So as we did before, let's go here on Cine Camera Actor, track, camera shake, but I'm going to add this one, the boom shake. And as you can see, it shows when it goes up and how it fades away, right? So let's see how it looks. Okay, so it's going here first. I think it's maybe way too, way too big. I want it to maybe go a little bit fast. So I'm going to go back to the boom shake and maybe put here 10 on the location and 10 on the rotation and maybe a little bit smaller here on the amplitude. So maybe four. And on the blending time, I'm going to put zero. I want the shake to immediately happen and then just fade, fade away. Let's click compile. Let's go back. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think it looks better. And you can change and modify this however you want. Um, I'm going to maybe make it a little bit shorter, 1.5, and maybe one for the blend out time, compile, shake. If you modify the duration, you're going to see empty space. If you modify it to be shorter, you can just drag and just have it to whatever length and duration you chose. And for example, if you go back and let's say I wanted to last three seconds, right? It's longer. Let's compile, shake. You can do the same. You can drag it so it lasts for the three seconds that you want. Uh, but in my case, I want it to be 1.5 with one of blend out time. 
and let's see how it looks. And that's how you use the camera shake. I hope you find this content helpful and that you enjoy it. If you like this kind of content, then consider subscribing. I will be uploading many more content on cinematic tutorials for UEFN. Also, a like in this video if you enjoyed it will be absolutely amazing. It will help a lot. I will be uploading many more videos on cinematic, so stay tuned. And thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.